Hey, what's up, Street Talks? Eric from the Eric from Street Photography Blog. So, I wanted to do a quick video on how to make side income from teaching photography workshops. So, I've been thinking a lot on how modern photographers could actually earn some side income or maybe even a full time income and using photography as the entrepreneurship tool. I think still now the biggest untapped market in photography is education and specifically workshops. So consider there's hundreds of thousands, if not millions of photographers out there, you know, buying these cheap DSLR cameras, mirrorless cameras, Fuji cameras, their iPhones, whatever, and they want to learn how to make better pictures. And most of us are hands-on learners that it's hard to explain, you know, technical settings on how to make better pictures and Video is good too, but having that personal touch is much better. Or let's say I'm a photographer, I'm traveling to Berlin or Tokyo or New York. I want to get a tour of the city and get to know the vibe of the city, but making it more interesting by making pictures because as the saying goes, pics or didn't happen. Therefore, it's a huge opportunity for you to pursue photography workshops, either one-on-one -on -one workshops, you know, there's so many different ways. You could do Skype lessons online or leading smaller groups or leading seminars, larger groups. I personally made my living from teaching photography workshops from like 2011 to 2017, so the last six years. So I definitely know, I know my shit. Practical strategies in terms of teaching a photography workshop. So obviously this is not going to work for you, but this is just based on my personal experiences, tips I'll give you guys. So first of all, the 80% the, the most difficult thing of teaching a photography workshop isn't just teaching the workshop, it's actually having students who want to attend your workshop. And so the first step is actually build a following. And I would say for, for myself, no one attended my workshop until I had at least a year or two of experience of blogging and putting myself out there under my belt. So realize that to create a following in order for people to attend your workshop will take you at least a year or two. And this is me hustling in terms of photography blogging, blogging three times a week, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, interviewing other photographers, building my brand name, and also you just had to make sure you have good pictures or else people aren't gonna attend your photography workshop. And so practical ways you could build an audience, let's say you're starting from ground zero, I would recommend doing guest blog posts on more popular photography sites, uh, starting your own YouTube channel, providing educational content. And that's the thing with a photography workshop, to focus on education, inspiration, and you want to be positive and motivational. You don't want to be that guy who's just like a naysayer and telling people that their pictures suck or whatever. You're going to try to give constructive feedback and critique on how to help elevate people's photos forward. So step two, assuming you already have a following, then there's the practical logistics. So you got to choose a place, a time, whatever. To start off, I think a good format is just a two-day workshop, all day Saturday, all day Sunday, so people get the weekends off. You can do the workshop you know, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. or 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., whatever, whatever you prefer. And if you're starting, start small. Just have your workshop limited to six individuals. As you get more popular, you can scale up to like 12 people, 16 people, 20 people, whatever you can handle. And then you have to find a venue where you're going to teach a workshop. If you're doing something really small, you can even do it at a coffee shop or a local cafe. Or figure out some sort of local gallery that you could partner with that you could get the space ideally for free. Based on my personal experiences, the best cities to do street photography workshops or workshops in general, I found New York to be good, Australia to be good, so Melbourne and Sydney are both very good. I found uh, Berlin to be very good. Also, uh, Tokyo to be very good, Chicago, LA, San Francisco, pretty much the big metropolitan cities all around the globe. And in terms of pricing, I would say if you're starting off teaching street photography workshops or photography workshops in general, charge at least 300 bucks for a two-day workshop, at least. That's at least what I started with. And you can start scaling it up to $500, $800, $1,000, $2,000, whatever, whatever you think is good for you. And generally with pricing your photography workshops, my practical suggestion is charge 25% more than you think you should because as photographers, we always undervalue our time, our labor, and our skills. And also, in order to incentivize people to sign up earlier, offer uh, early bird discounts. So let's say your workshop uh, is 800 bucks, offer an early bird discount of 495 bucks, or let's say your workshop's 1,000 bucks. 
offer early bird discount of four hundred uh, seven hundred ninety five dollars or let's say your workshop is two thousand dollars then offer an early bird discount of nine ninety five and generally I know in terms of my personal consumerist philosophy I don't like super round numbers, I actually prefer it a little bit lower. So for example, if you're charging a thousand bucks for a workshop, charge nine ninety five rather than a thousand because it just looks better. Or you know if you're choose if you're doing a workshop for five hundred bucks, don't do for five hundred bucks, do four hundred and ninety five dollars. And uh generally in terms of the cutoff date I'd recommend like at least three or four weeks or a month, a little bit longer, whatever you think works for you. And the last thing is, of course, you gotta teach the workshop. So generally, let's say you do a two-day workshop, I'd recommend on Saturday morning, meet at 10, 10 to around noon, to do lecture, introductions, giving them tips and suggestions. Then for the rest of the day, from around like noon to five or noon to 6 p.m., give them practical shoot, uh, shooting assignments, wherever they may be. On Sunday, I'd recommend 10 to noon, doing some more shooting, and in the morning, give them a pep talk, give them a a brief recap, have them shoot until about two or three o'clock, then meet back at the workshop location, review the pictures and do a final critique. So that's a basic primer on how to do a photography workshop. I think it's a huge opportunity for you, especially if you have a passion for teaching. I'm gonna hopefully do some more of these videos in terms of giving you guys more practical tips on how you guys could teach a photography workshop, how to get people to sign up. But once again, if you want to make some side income from photography, maybe make it a career, think education, think workshops, and uh, if you want to learn more on how to teach your own photography workshops, just Google like Eric Kim, how to teach a workshop. I've written lots of materials and essentially the reason I'm sharing this information with you is that I want you to hopefully make some extra side income from your photography and also for us to all empower each other as photographers. Thanks a lot for watching guys. Peace out.